I would like to show you our um, changing place, uh, so diaper changing place on the floor. Uh, so our diaper changing area on the floor. Um, our son is currently 10 months old and since he was about 8 months, we uh, felt the need to start changing him on the floor because he was very fussy um, and, he, and he moves a lot and it starts getting dangerous. Uh, changing him in the normal changing table. Uh, we need to always be two persons when changing him there. So we needed to do it on the floor for safety reasons. Um, and then this is how we uh, organized ourselves. So the two, we sit here on this pillow um, and we needed to make it a bit higher so that it's more comfortable so that when you're sitting you can actually have your your feet underneath here so um, it's a bit more more comfortable than than when if it was on the floor uh, so we needed to make it higher we tried several different ways but nothing was really like very safe so this is the best we could find so this here it's actually a water mattress that is um, is used to help the baby be on, on his tummy uh, for tummy time. Our baby was never very very interested in this. This has some animals, some animals, some little. It's like some um, foam uh, pieces that are in the shape of fishes. And when the baby touches, they move around the water, so theoretically it helps them stay on their tummy. Never really worked for us. So this is actually here in this chamber, there's a mixture of water and, and air. And these two outside chambers are for, for air. Um, and we... Uh, this one is already uh, broken, so we can it no longer... Um, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's already not possible to feel anymore. Um, but uh, it still is enough to keep it higher. So after, on top of that, we have this uh, puzzle mat, uh, just a normal puzzle mat that we actually use. Actually, this is a very very good uh, solution for everything because you can use it for basically everything and we already changed it so many times for different things so here we have it we made this little fence around just so that uh, when he moves around he won't um, fall over uh, so it offers a little bit of protection in the beginning i had two here but he's just into taking it out and biting it, so I removed those two. Now we only have those two in the back. On top of that, we have here this uh, changing um, mat. It's actually, um, so, let me see. so this has this cover, this cotton cover, which by the way, it was as expensive as the, the mat itself. Uh, but it's worth it because the baby is not, uh, directly on top of the mat it always has this cotton protection I really don't regret having bought it I find it also very cute then on top of that uh, we have always these disposable changing mats that um, I always uh, put because um, yeah when when something for, it's not like I have to change it very often because nowadays it's not very often that he pees or poops while I'm changing him so it usually lasts a long time and it's not very environmentally friendly but it's very practical because um i never it's very rare that i actually have to wash this because if something falls through it will go here so uh, and then i just throw this away so it's very very practical um so at the moment our baby's pretty big so uh, usually as his head there so outside of this disposable one um, and then many times his feet will reach here because he also is very 
moving a lot um, and that's also the reason why I have here this little basket with a few teeters and toys a rattle also um, this helps keep the baby entertained so I just like start giving him things or, or he just rolls over and starts trying to grab it himself um, I also have here uh, this mobile uh, that also <laughs> helps a little bit uh, usually is just trying to use the rattle to hit this <laughs> Uh, or actually trying to sit up and trying to, to grab it. Uh, but um, it's at least it helps control him a little bit so that I have time to change him because he can get really squirmy while I'm changing. Um, yeah, then this is this is actually a Calyx from Ikea, as you can see. And this is how I organize it. So I also have here a baby cam actually because um, this is in the baby's room at the moment and sometimes I leave him here alone I will need to change this to the outside of his room because he's now crawling a lot so he's able to reach here um, these things that are not very baby friendly so the not things I want him to put in his mouth but for now we're still not so mobile so uh, I, it's still okay here, but yeah, as I said, I'm, I'm going to change it soon to outside of the bedroom. And this is how I organize myself. So this is also from Ikea, I don't know the name at the moment, um, but this is uh, is divided in four. So it has here these dividers here, and then here also, so in four. And I have here, uh, so the right side I put the the disposable um, changing mat and on the left side I have the, the diapers um, that I use at the moment, uh, disposable diapers. Then here I have these uh, disinfection wipes, baby disinfection wipes um, that I um, that I use um, to, for instance, uh, disinfect some uh, toys from him that might uh, get dirty for us. He sometimes just throws the rattle on the floor so I use it to disinfect or also to clean the garbage can because it starts smelling between uses. Um, here in the back I have also the... I'm oh, sorry. I, here in the back I have the garbage bags that I use um, for, the, for the, um, the garbage, for the diaper pail so I put them the the garbage bags here. Um, they are there. Here underneath, I found this box on Amazon, and here I put the dirty laundry from the baby that then I bring to wash um, when it's full. So it's a good size at the moment um, to make one machine for him. Uh, this is a diaper pail that is made of steel. Actually, uh, it looks like this. And then when you press there, so if I have this open and I press there on the back, it will open here and that will go down. Then when I want to change it, I open it here and um, yeah, that's how you get the, the, the bag. Um, I used to have one, um, a plastic one, and these metal ones are the because the plastic ones are getting a lot of mold and it got very smelly so and the way I did this was I removed in the calyx the the shelf here from the middle so that I could put here this um, and then yeah then here this is also uh, from Ikea these drawers uh, on top I have here the um, the trousers from the baby and here um, I have here these bandanas, uh, this one with teeter, so they are very practical. Um, and also the socks, divided by types of socks here. Um, then underneath I have here the water wipes. Um, in, when the baby was younger, I used to actually use real uh, water, so to say, yeah, warm water with uh, cotton wipes uh, co with uh, cotton um, walls, but uh, now uh, I just use water wipes because it's more, more practical. 
is also bigger, so it's also okay when it's colder. And afterwards, I always dry them uh, because uh, that, that really prevent. I mean, my baby never really had um, diaper rashes or anything like that. And I think it's also one of the reasons because I dry them always. Um, when it does get diaper rashes, I have here rash cream. And this is great. This I got on Amazon. Yeah, I will definitely recommend this. I should have bought this as soon as the baby was born. This is to file the baby's nails. So, and this is awesome. And especially if you have a squirmy baby, which every baby is kind of. So it's really very, very practical. So I have it here also because sometimes when I'm changing his diaper, I take advantage of the fact that that is a tiny little bit entertained with the toys to uh, file his toenails or, or file his uh, fingernails. And here I have also his uh, shoes. Uh, this is the Legonitos, which are great first walking shoes for babies. Um, they are basically just a sock with a very soft sole. So this is, uh, these are great uh, first walking shoes if you are not sure which ones to buy. Um, not cheap, but worth it. Then here, again, I removed the, the, the shelf here so that I have a whole thingy. And then this is a tension rod that I got on Amazon. I have these dividers here. And here I have just the cords that I actually use every day, which aren't many, but... Um, all the other clothes that are, for, for instance, like the um, things that I use more like when I go outside with him, like warmer things or jackets or um, sleep sacks, that's, uh, that's not here. So here is just the things that I need when I'm changing his diaper, uh, so on a daily basis. Um, I also have here a potty because uh, since he was born I put him on the potty. Um, from time to time so that he gets used to it. Sometimes I catch something, sometimes not. I also, I used, when he was smaller, I used to put this in my lap and lie him on my lap. And uh, now I just sit him on the potty because he can already uh, sit by himself. Um, this is a cover that um, helps also keep it a little bit warmer and cozier. Um, yeah, so... So yeah, so this is how, um, how I organize myself uh, now that he, that we change his diaper on the floor. Um, we also have uh, this mirror here uh, that has this, um, this rod in the middle that we were thinking of using uh, for him to, uh, for, to change his uh, diaper standing, but I've, we've tried it a few times and it's just really, I mean, um, it's already pretty complicated to do it with him lying down, with him standing uh, until he's really much more cooperative. <laughs> uh, right now he's really too fussy and squirmy. Uh, it's not really possible. So uh, this is really for now the the best option. And um, you can see here. So it's really I'm already I'm sitting here and um, it's it's a, a good setting and doesn't really make your back hurt or anything so yeah if you have any questions let me know